Edsworld bootlegs. They exist for some reason. That reason is money. A quick Google search reveals some of the most cursed images of Edsworld characters that I'm allowed to show on YouTube. Weirdest fandom to have Omegaverse fix in your opinion. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, I was close. These sad excuses for products are passed off as official merchandise by people who Googled something from Edsworld, printed it for cheap, and sold it at an insane profit margin. You'd think the people doing this would be smart about what they decided to pull, but no, these people have absolutely zero standards. Seriously, not only are these knockoffs shameless, they are absolutely bizarre. How did we, as a species, spend thousands of years mastering the art of textiles, practicing commerce, and refining our marketplaces just to end up with Edsworld 3D men women neutral style men women threaded bunched trousers hip hop threaded bunched? There is a lot of this stuff, enough to dedicate an entire video to. So I went onto eBay and I bought absolutely nothing. Please do not waste your money on this garbage. Okay, this one infringes on two copyrights, and both of them are stolen. Okay, so first things first, these things are not official merchandise, they are illegal. I've talked in the past about how overly protected copyright law often limits creativity, but if you're selling something on places like Etsy and all you're offering is someone else's stolen creation, then that is what is known in copyright law as a crime. There are exceptions for when you're using the material in ways that are genuinely transformative, but I am not a lawyer, do your own research. The worst place for this stuff is probably Redbubble. Print-on-demand stores like this work like YouTube. You can sell your own original designs at no upfront cost and the site takes a share of your revenue. But unlike YouTube, I don't think that they've got an automated system for detecting copyright, and if they do, it's not very good, at least not as good as it should be. It takes all of 5 minutes to create a Redbubble account, and all you have to do is tick a box saying I am not doing a crime, and you can start selling someone else's intellectual property. And because of that, there are so many pieces of tat with Edsworld branding on it. I've never bought anything from Redbubble, so I can't speak to the quality, but so many of these products look absolutely terrible. Some of them have been butchered in Photoshop to skirt around copyright detection, something that absolutely would not hold up in a court of law, might I add, and others have been stretched in a way that absolutely ruins the original image. I'm pretty sure I have seen the future of interior design. It's not this. The worst ones are probably the posters. The preview images on the official store are intentionally made small and of poor quality compared to the final product, where they print the vector at a scale that looks good on A3. This is quite common for online stores because if you tried to download the original image and print it on your own printer, then it wouldn't look nearly as good as just buying the real thing. But bootleggers don't have access to that original high quality file, so they just go onto Google, find the first image that they can that they like the look of, and download that really, really low quality image and then blow it up to twice the size of A0. If you bought one of these posters, then I am so sorry, it must look absolutely terrible. This stuff is expensive as well. Almost every piece of awful bootleg merchandise that I've seen is way more expensive than just buying the real thing on the official website. What did it cost? The price isn't important, Ed. And what's worse, I'm willing to bet that it's not people who are making these accounts and selling fake bootleg merchandise. It's robots. These sites have captures, but they aren't exactly tricky to fool nowadays. And it takes absolutely zero effort to do a Google search for an IP that's popular with children, download the first image that you find, and upload it to Redbubble with a bunch of tags that shoot it to the top of the search results. And it doesn't even cost the scammers money because this stuff is print on demand, so there's nothing stopping them from just making a bunch of bots and going wild. And in case you hadn't noticed by now, a considerable amount of this illegal merchandise is stolen fan art. Edsworld have always been really great about encouraging fan art, going so far as to support artists by showcasing their work on social media and what have you. They don't have to do any of that. Legally, they own the IP and have the power to shut things down, but they don't. Obviously you can't go around pretending to be them and making money, they have an IP to protect, but they love fan art because you lot are real talented. But a lot of Edsworld bootlegs are stolen fan art, and yeah, I'm willing to bet that most of it is stolen and not being sold by the people who originally drew it. Bots scraping the web can't distinguish between fan art and official illustrations. The people programming the bots probably wouldn't know any different so the most appealing fan creations get stolen and slapped onto a skirt because it doesn't cost the scammers anything. If you find that your artwork has been stolen and is being sold on a place like Redbubble, then there is a process for reporting it, although that may be only open to the 
holder of the copyright and in cases where it's fan art and you do not technically own the IP, that's a bit of a legal minefield that I wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable stepping in. The process is of course open to Edsworld themselves and they have complete power to shut down anyone who tries to spin this garbage. But so long as marketplaces like Redbubble exist, it's impossible to stop at the source. There is just no way to cut off every head of this Hydra. By the way, DeviantArt does have a feature called DeviantArt Protect, which notifies users when their art is minted on a public blockchain or listed on an NFT marketplace. So thankfully, that's less of an issue than it could be. There isn't anything like that for real marketplaces just yet, but maybe there should be. The fault here lies entirely on the bootleggers and stores like Redbubble. Edsworld makes it as easy as possible to buy their stuff wherever in the world you live and no artist wants their work stolen and sold like that. Snake oil salesmen have existed for centuries, we haven't managed to stomp them out quite yet. So what can we do to kill the demand? Well, for starters, there are a bunch of products on the official Edsworld store that may be worth getting if you want something Edsworld branded. With the exception of convention stalls, a few recent collaborations, and like one book which has been sold on the same third party website for over a decade, the official Edsworld store is the only place that I would go to buy Edsworld merchandise. Obviously, not every grandma knows the difference between real and fake, and there's always gonna be people who don't know or just don't care, but you can spread the word. Let people know where to shop, maybe share this video with anyone who might benefit, maybe click the like button and leave a comment below, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Here are some other videos that you should watch, you should watch them. If you've bought a fake piece of merchandise in the past then genuinely don't worry about it, it's fine. Scammers do a pretty great job of misleading consumers and if you've got like a fake t-shirt or something with some stolen artwork on it then keep wearing it if you think it looks nice. No reason to feel bad about it, it may even make for a funny story. But maybe in the future, if we only buy from the real store, we can vote with our wallets, then perhaps these bootlegs won't be so common. Matt, where are you pointing that camera? <laughs> <laughs>